Hello guys, all of us love real paintings art. How hard the art is making that art and then selling in high cost. In this video, I'm going to tell to you about most expensive art robberies in this world. So let's start. Number 5. The Flagellation of Christ Italy, the home of art, has also been the home of art thief. In February 1975, when two paintings of Piero della Francesco, The Flagellation of Christ, and The Madonna of Sinegalia and Raphael, silently were cut from their frames and stolen from the Ducal Palace or Bino City of Italy. The crime was wholly driven by profit. It was committed by local criminals who planned to sell this arts on the international market. But, those thieves would not be the last to discover that much reproduced masterwork are hopelessly illegal. Then, police caught those thieves in March 1976. The paintings were recovered and damaged in Locarno, the city of Switzerland, in art crime also known as the art crime of the century. Number 4. Dried Sunflowers Art In 1989, Three Van Gogh paintings including dried sunflowers, weaver's interior, and an early version of the potato eaters were stolen from the Kruller Mueller Museum in Otterlo, Holland. The wave pattern of art thief generally mirrors that of the art market itself and here it did so specifically. Just after two weeks, a list had been published of the top prices paid for Arts of Christus. It listed Van Gogh art among the top of those selling arts. It was sold in $53.9 million. This is the highest price ever paid for a painting. Then, the newspaper showed the buyer picture with art. After investigation, Thibs asked for $2.5 million US dollar for return other two paintings. In July 13, 1989, police caught them and no price was paid for other two arts. The Doe of Wellington After the seven-month occupation of Iraq, the National Museum of Kuwait and the Dar al-Islamaya, the House of Islamic Antiquities, were loaded. Then, these buildings were totally torched. In 70s and 80s, Saba family was put this one of the world's best collection of Islamic arts, including 20,000 pieces of arms, armor seals, and decorative arts of Persia, Mamluk of Egypt, and the Mughal emperors in India and Bronze Age of Kuwait were packed in crates. Then, after this was this thanks was driven to the Iraq National Museum in Baghdad in a 17 convoys. There was frustration at the prospect of returning some, except by buying it on the black market in bits and pieces. But, in September 16 and October 20, 1991, a small team of curators arrived in Baghdad six months after the ceasefire. They dismantled about 6,000 pieces of those historical things. It is remembrance of the treatment meted out to the victors of the pre-wars of large-scale state-sponsored art including the European kings and Napoleon and the Iraq president Saddam's intention, like Hitler, went beyond looting. He wanted to erase all Kuwait's historical and cultural identity. Number 2. The Storm in the Sea the Storm in the Sea of Galilee is an oil-on-canvas painting by the Dutch Golden Age painter. It was previously in the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. But in 1990, on the next morning of Patrick Day, two men in police uniform knocked on a side door of Boston Gardner Museum. They are mentioning a disturbance in the grounds. The guard led them in and they were swiftly handcuffed and locked this guard in a cell. Then, these thieves stole marine painting, The Storm on the Sea of Galilee, in Chester Tony by Manet, five pieces by Degas, and some other includes a Chinese bronze becker and a fitment from a Napoleon flagstaff. 
Unfortunately, they didn't touch the most expensive paintings of Titans Europa, which is arguably the most valuable piece in the collection and current dollar figure attached to the stolen work is $300 million. In 1997, with the investigation when the museum raised the reward from 1 million US dollar to 5 million US dollar, then the dealer Boston William suddenly emerged. William was a shady character but he gained attention by telling the reporter Tom Mashbeer that he in a colorful character named Miles Connor could try to return this art. Those days, Miles Connor was in a jail for another robbery of art he claimed that he could locate the art if released from jail. And William wants the price to bring the painting in the release of Miles Connor from jail. Then, Mashburg got a telephone call at night and he go to a warehouse where he was shown by torchlight what may or may not have been the painting's storm on the Sea of Galilee. He was later given some paint chips, supposedly from that painting. Doubts sprang up, the chips were not from the painting. Then, one U.S. lawyer demanded that one of the paintings be returned as proof that the works were on hand. Then, the proof are missing, result came out in court closed this robbery file. Now, Connor is out of jail but the art is still missing. Number 1. Pascal Boreal Mass In December 1985, guards from the National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico arrived at work to discover the sheets of glass had been removed from seven showcases. The 140 objects that were taken included jade and gold pieces from the Maya, Aztec, Zapotec, and Mystic sculptures. The curator, Philip Solis estimated if a buyer could be found that one piece alone, a vase shaped like a monkey, could be worth over 20 US dollar million on the market. Most of the pieces were an inch or so in height. The entire hole would have fitted comfortably into a couple of suitcases. It is still accounted as the single largest thief of precious objects. Thank you guys for watching. If you have some questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to comment down below. If you like our videos, please don't forget to press the like button, ring the bell button, share, and subscribe. Thank you.